Ever since humanity took to the skies with the birds, we've been pushing our limits. We've built the biggest, the baddest, the fastest aircraft. But how do passenger aircraft rank among our most incredible record breakers? Well, let's see. The fastest crewed aircraft ever was the X-15. It set the record it's held for over 50 years by reaching Mach 6.7. Mach 1 is the speed of sound. So this thing was going way faster than it takes your voice to reach your friend's ear in a conversation. 4,520 miles per hour. This plane could cover the length of two and a half Burj Khalifas in a second. Boom, just like that. But it couldn't take off by itself. A mothership had to carry it up and drop launch it from the sky. So technically, the X-15 was a crewed rocket, not entirely an airplane. All right, one that could take off on its own, the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird, a supersonic jet with a top speed of almost 2,200 miles per hour. It went so fast, its surface would heat up well over 500 degrees, close to 1,000 degrees near the engine. Not only could you fry an egg on it, you'd probably burn your breakfast black. In fact, the jet's parts were designed a little smaller. They expanded from the heat and fit snugly mid-flight. But when it was on the ground, the pieces didn't fit, so the aircraft regularly leaked fuel. So what about regular passenger airplanes, the kind we all use to travel? Most of them top out at 575 miles per hour. In 2018, Norwegian Airlines broke the transatlantic speed record when they got their Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner up to 776 miles per hour. The plane made it from New York to London in 5 hours and 13 minutes, shaving off almost 2 hours from the regular flight time. In February 2020, a new record was set by a British Airways Boeing 747, the same route in 4 hours and 56 minutes with a max speed of 825 miles per hour. Imagine an archer shooting an arrow. Now speed that up about 4 times. That's how fast this airliner was going. Now these were standard commercial airplanes, no rocket boosters here. So how could they fly so fast? In both cases, they caught a tailwind of over 200 miles per hour. Such winds are called jet streams. They blow only at high altitudes where these airliners were flying. And polar jet streams in the north are a bit stronger than the tropical ones. But don't get your hopes up of traveling to New York from London with a tailwind boost. Jet streams only go east because of the Earth's counterclockwise rotation. Mind-boggling that giant metal birds can lift up and fly so fast from the air. That's why their wings are shaped with a curve on top. The airstream over the wing travels faster than below it. The faster the air moves, the less pressure it has. So more pressure in the slower air under the wing pushes the aircraft up. The slower the plane moves, the less lift is generated. The minimum possible is called stall speed. But an Antonov AN2 has no stall speed, meaning with a fast enough front wind, it could technically fly backward. And in the case of engine failure, it can move so slowly that it almost parachutes to the ground. The slowest airplane in history was the Gossamer Albatross. It had a top speed of 18 miles per hour, and it was human-powered. The average adult could outrun this plane at a short distance. Same can't be said about the slowest motored plane, the Bloop 3. It goes 25 miles per hour, and you'd need to be a top Olympic runner to beat it in a race. The slowest jet-powered plane was the PZL-M15. The noisy thing topped out at 120 miles per hour. Another Antonov record holder is the AN-225 Mariah. It's the largest aircraft by weight, according to Guinness. Its wingspan could fit the Statue of Liberty, and it's almost six stories tall. But the real shock is its total payload. This thing can hold 560,000 pounds of cargo. That's three space shuttles, 20 cruise ship anchors, 50 cars? Hey, take your pick! This behemoth uses six engines and 32 wheels for takeoff and landing. The largest wingspan ever belongs to the Stratolaunch. 385 feet from tip to tip, you could lay two Towers of Pisa, or eight semi-trucks, across it. That massive wingspan also holds two fuselages underneath making this aircraft look like two planes holding hands through the sky. 
the current longest airplane in operation is the Boeing 747-8, with its astonishing length of 250 feet. That would be five semis if you were counting. The Airbus A380 is the largest passenger airliner by maximum seat capacity. It can hold 853 people. There are plenty of small towns whose entire population could fit on this plane. The most expensive plane ever was the B-2 Spirit. A single aircraft cost $2.1 billion. In miles, that's to the moon and back 4,400 times. But don't forget, you'd need an extra $135,000 to operate the thing for just one hour. The cheapest brand new ready-to-fly plane would cost you only around $60,000. There are cars more expensive than that. In 2019, two UK pilots set the record of 16 countries visited on an airplane within 24 hours. The men said it took massive planning to achieve. The shortest takeoff on record of 14 feet and 7 inches was broken in 2017 on a highly modified airplane called a Piper Cub. It was 78 years old when it set the record. The shortest scheduled flight you can take is from Westray to Papa Westray in Scotland's Orkney Isles. Your plane will cover 1.7 miles and you'll be in the air for under 2 minutes. The longest scheduled flight is from Singapore to Newark, New Jersey, operated by Singapore Airlines. It takes 18 and a half hours to cover 9,534 miles. That's more than the Earth's diameter at the equator. Then there's the Ornithopter, an aircraft that flaps its wings to fly. The first successful continuous flight in one of those happened in 2010. The so-called Snowbird covered 145 feet in under 20 seconds. Nothing compared to the common Swift. It holds the record for the longest continuous flight time of any bird. Some can fly half a year without stopping. Whew.